Out of the Box and Onto the Table, a step-by-step -step guide for the blind and visually impaired to unboxing and powering on your Amazon Echo. Hello, and welcome to the Rehabilitation Engineering Research Center for Wireless Inclusive Technologies step-by-step -step video series on the setup of the Amazon Echo geared towards people who are blind or visually impaired. The Amazon Echo can be a powerful tool if you have a visual impairment. By just using your voice, you can command your Echo to do such things as stream news feeds, music or podcasts, control thermostats, lights, or security systems in your house, or place orders for things you need. However, it can be extremely difficult to set up by yourself if you have no sight. This video, part one, will help explain what's in the Amazon Echo Box and how to plug it in. Part two of this video series helps you understand what the four buttons on the top of the Echo do. And in part three, we will teach you how to sync your Echo to the Amazon Alexa app on your phone or tablet. Before we start, it is advised that you already download Amazon's Alexa app from either Apple's App Store or the Google Play Store, depending on which type of iOS or Android smartphone or tablet you own. Just search for the Alexa app on either store. And if you own an Echo Dot, the smaller version of the full-size Echo we have here, apart from the unboxing, the overall placement of buttons and control of the device will be the same. So let's get started with the unboxing. Removing the Amazon Echo from the outer box. The Amazon Echo's outer box is approximately eight and a half inches tall and about four inches square. You'll be able to tell the top of the box from the bottom because the top will have a piece of tape covering a flap that is used to open the box. Let's stand the box upright to its eight and a half inches height. Feel around the top edges for the tape and either carefully cut the tape or remove it by tearing the tape edge from left to right. With the tape now removed from the flap, use your fingers to open the top of the box. Flip open the left and right flaps as well. Once the three flaps are open, use your fingers to firmly grasp the top of the Echo and remove it from the box. You can now set the main box aside. Removing the Echo from the cardboard retainer. Once out of the box, the Echo has a slim cardboard strap or retainer that secures it to a square accessory box on the bottom. The Echo itself is covered in a protective plastic, which we'll remove later. Feel the sides of the Echo for the cardboard straps and orient it so that one of the straps is directly facing you and the other strap is away from you. The easiest way to release the echo from the straps is to push it out with your thumbs from the left or right sides of the cardboard retainer. Now that your echo is out of the straps, let's set it aside for the moment. Removing the accessories. Let's find out what's in the square box that's attached to the bottom of the retainer. With the retainer strap still facing one in front and one away from you, move your fingers down the edge of the front retainer till you feel the top of the square accessory box. Move your fingers left or right along the top edge of the accessory box and you should feel one of two distinct tabs on either the left or the right side of the box. Grasp either tab and pull down on it. This will open the accessory box. Once open, feel inside for the power cable and two small square pamphlets. Set the power cable aside for a moment. One of the pamphlets tells you how to set up the Echo, much like we're doing here. The other pamphlet provides information on commands you can use with Alexa to control your Echo. Alexa is the name of Amazon's virtual personal assistant. 
You can set these pamphlets aside now. We won't be needing them. You can now set the accessory box and retainer aside or place it back inside the outer carton. Removing the plastic wrap from the Echo. Now place the Echo in front of you. The Echo is a round cylinder about six inches tall. Once out of the box, it is covered in a clear plastic covering that needs to be removed. The easiest way to do this is to feel around the top edge of the Echo and wiggle a finger in between the top of the Echo and the plastic film. One of these attachment points will have a release tab that is taped about an inch down on the Echo. Feel for the release tab and orient it so that it is in front of you. Pull upwards on the release tab and the plastic flap should release itself. You can now carefully grasp the Echo on each side, turn it upside down, and slide it out of the plastic sleeve. Finding the top from the bottom of the Echo. You can tell the top from the bottom of the Echo by the number of buttons on each side. The top will have four indentations that are buttons. The bottom has one indentation directly in the middle. The top also feels like a smooth plastic, while the bottom has a rubber covering that is grippier feeling. The cylinder part of the Echo is covered in a cloth. Finding the power port and plugging in your Echo. With your Echo now standing upright, we can find the power port by feeling along the bottom edge of the Echo for an inch long oval indentation. Orient the Echo so that this indentation is facing you. This is where you plug the power cord into. So let's grab our power cord. Feel for the wire that comes out from the bottom of the plastic power brick and remove the rubber band securing the end of the power cord and release the full length of the cord. The small, thin, inch-long plug at the other end of the power cord will be inserted into the power port of the Echo. The power port is located on the very left-hand side of the oval indentation. Push the power plug securely into the left side firmly. You should feel and hear it click into place. The power brick also has a plastic film covering it. It can be removed by feeling for one of the two taped flaps that are closest to where the power wire exits the power brick. Use your fingernail to lift up the taped flaps to remove the film. Now, plug the power brick into a wall outlet. At this point, the Alexa will power on. After a few seconds, and maybe even up to 30 seconds, you will hear a tone and Alexa will say, your Amazon Echo is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. Hello, your device is ready for setup. Just follow the instructions in your Alexa app. This is a good place to stop part one of this video series. In part two, we'll describe what the four buttons on the top of the Echo do. And in part three, we teach you how to sync the Echo with the Alexa app on your smartphone or tablet so it can connect to your Wi-Fi network. From there, you can begin using your Echo by giving Alexa commands. Please leave a comment for us below for other Amazon Echo videos we should create or other areas of technology access you are interested in. And be sure to click the like button and subscribe to the Wireless RERC's YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. This video was produced by the Wireless RERC. Captions were provided by the Center for Inclusive Design and Innovation. American Sign Language Interpreting was provided by DefLink. The contents of this video were developed under a grant from the National Institute on Disability, Independent Living, and Rehabilitation Research, or the NIDILRR.
under grant number 90RE5025-01-00. The NIDILRR is a center within the Administration for Community Living, or the ACL, the Department of Health and Human Services, or HHS. The contents of this website do not necessarily represent the policy of NIDILRR, the ACL, or HHS, and you should not assume endorsement by the federal government.